Hard disk is the most common mass secondary storage device used in modern computer systems. Now let's discuss the general structure of a magnetic disk. The magnetic disk consists of platter stacked upon one another and mounted on a spindle. Each platter will be having two surfaces, one top surface and the bottom surface and each surface has a magnetic material on it and can keep data or information on it. To read or write data from each surface, each surface will be associated with a read-write head and the read-write head for all the surfaces are mounted on an arm which can move these heads towards the central spindle and away from the spindle towards the edge. All the heads move together in a synchronized fashion and they all will be at the same relative position at a time. Each platter is then divided into circular shaped tracks. Data is first written to the outermost track which is termed track 0. The tracks at the same distance from the center on all the platters together form a cylinder. In other words, all the tracks which are at the same head position together form a cylinder. Then each track is further divided into sectors. We saw that by moving the head towards the spindle and away from the spindle, the head can reach each and every track associated with it on its surface. Now usually in hard disk after approaching the correct track, the head stays at its position and then the platter rotate about its spindle. Usually all the platters together. This way head can reach each and every sector on the corresponding track. By this movement head can approach every point on the surface and is able to access the data or information kept on the surface. Now we can see that the length of the outer tracks is higher than that of the inner tracks. But the number of sectors in each track is kept same. And the bit density is kept lower in outer tracks than the inner tracks. In other words, the bits are more densely arranged in the inner tracks than the outer tracks. Why? To understand why, consider the top surface of one platter. Let this be the outermost track of the platter and let this be one of the inner tracks. Let the head be here on the outermost track. Now consider a line and let this be a point along this line on the outermost track under the head. We know that after approaching the required track, the head stays at its position and the platter will rotate. While the platter is rotating about the spindle, actually, this point will be revolving around the spindle. By the time the platter completes one rotation, this point will complete one revolution around the spindle and reach the same point under the head. Now let the head be here in this inner track and consider a point along the same line on this inner track under the head. While the plot platter completes one rotation about the spindle, this point will also complete one revolution around the spindle and reach the same point under the head. Consider the time taken for this. The time taken for this point to complete one revolution around the spindle and reach the same point under the head is same as the time taken by this point to complete this revolution and reach the same point here. If so, 
then of course this point will be moving faster along this outer path because the length of this outer track is longer than that of the inner track so for both of these points to reach the same point at the same time then this point should be moving faster this happens in case of hard disk if we consider any point along this line while the platter completes one rotation all the points on this line will complete one revolution around the spindle and reach the same point here because usually in hard disk they rotate with constant angular velocity thus to maintain this constant angular velocity the speed of the outer tracks or outer surfaces it should be faster than the inner tracks that is the linear velocity of the outer tracks should be higher than that of the inner tracks thus the problem is the outer track is longer than that of the inner tracks hence the outer tracks can keep large amount of data than the inner tracks hence within a particular time or by the time the platter completes one rotation since the outer tracks are moving faster under the head more data will be read from the outer tracks compared to the inner tracks but in hard disk within a particular time the amount of data which can be accessed is kept constant this is to make the calculations easier hence we keep the data density lower in the outer tracks and keep the number of sectors same in all the tracks thus while the platter completes one rotation it will cover one entire track whichever be the track whether inner tracks or outer track within one complete rotation of the platter one entire track can be covered and the same amount of data can be read to maintain this we keep lower bit density or lower data density in the outer tracks than that of the inner tracks as a result within one rotation time or within a particular period of time same amount of data will be accessed from any track